Shifting News. Explore. Feel. Shift. Shifting News. Explore. Feel. Shift. Hello good people, welcome back to Shifting News, you are a great channel with amazing views and wonderful videos, always here to bring you amazing views from different places. And we say thank you to all our returning subscribers, our returning supporters, we just say thank you because you are our support system, you are supporting us on this journey as we head to more and more milestones and to all our new visitors, we request you to join this amazing family by subscribing, hit the notification bell to receive all notifications once we upload a new video. I think most of you may be surprised uh, why am I recording this video. This is outside Uhuru Park and just to confirm to you that Uhuru Park is open. You can see people inside and yeah, it is open but I'm recording from the outside. I think you'll be knowing the reasons why. And I'm on the side of Get D and you can see this is the amazing Hells Lassie exit that heads to community. You can see over there that is when you go straight, you are heading to Hells Lassie or the community side when you use this road you're heading to Uhuru Highway and the GPO side so this is the newly opened El Selassie exit of the Nairobi Expressway I think things here are looking well and uh, that building over there that is the Bunge Tower that one is the CBK Pension Towers and this side is the Upper Hill side this building that is the I hope you can see it beyond this beyond the Nairobi Expressway Service Center that is the old mutual tower when we go this side uh, this one here this is the Ranhim Tula building then just here this one the one with the mask that is the Britam Tower the tallest currently we believe the tallest in Kenya so Unfortunately today we won't be able to go inside Uhuru Park. We shall be recording this video from the outside just maybe to have the outside views. I know most of you can remember this park was closed several I think it's about two years ago and uh, it was undergoing renovation that is like a facelift i think we shall be previewing some of our videos that we did of this amazing uhuru park and currently it's looking nice you can come here so far entry is free it is open to the public so i believe you can see this is the exit looks amazing And this road that I'm walking along comes from the other side when you're coming from, uh, is it professional way? Yes. And it goes like this, then it just goes along the Uhuru Park section up to 
the Kenyatta Avenue roundabout. So those are some of the aspects that are taking place within the city. And I believe you can already see the amazing features around the exit of the Nairobi Expressway. So the road there, that is now one of the roads connecting you from the Nairobi Expressway exit on the Hellslassi section. And it will take you to the GPO side by connecting you to the Uhuru Highway, that is the lower road along this stretch. So maybe for those who understand, this is uh, probably I think this is a river. It's a stream crossing through Uhuru Park, coming from the side of uh, Kenyatta Avenue and the processional way on the other side. So it crosses and I think you can see the amazing features on the other side. This place is being renovated. I believe they will be planting there amazing flowers or what do you think? Should they plant there maybe veggies, vegetables and maybe make it useful? Like there is soil. But uh, I know most, of, most likely they'll be setting their grass. So that it looks amazing on the other side. So this is the Uhuru Park area. Now we are on the side of Uhuru Highway. You can see the amazing pillars of the Nairobi Expressway. You know, when you are at it's Zitz Bellevue or just the area around uh, Ole Sereni. That is where the Nairobi Expressway starts to rise. On the other side, it goes flat, just like Uhuru Highway or the Mombasa Road. So from there, from there around Ole Sereni, now the pillars are raised, comes all, all the way, crosses the town center and goes all the way to James Gishuru. But at St. Mark's Church, that is where the Uhuru Highway or the Nairobi Expressway comes back down. So I believe, unfortunately, you can see the caged Uhuru Park. So this, this is get C and already you can see the corrugated iron sheets still in place meaning everything is not complete probably as anticipated but I can assure you this park is already open open to public and it's free so the rules when you are coming here for all those who would wish to visit this place, it is always open throughout. That is uh, on weekdays, weekends, even on holiday. And I hope all of you can see that building over there. That is the former Intercontinental Hotel. When COVID-19 came in, it brought a lot of changes making the investor to abandon that hotel. So currently, I don't know if already it has a, an occupant, but yeah, that, those are some of the effects of uh, COVID-19 that brought issues to a lot of people, a lot of investors. And you can see over there, that is the KICC in Nairobi CBD. So that is the Huru Park. Evans, how are you? 
Boa sana. Ah, nimekatazwa. Wanasema wa nini? Recording haikubaliki. Sasa wewe bila unaifanya ndio baya. Unaona mimi yangu iko wapi? Eh. Unaona sisi tujeka kwa kitu kiki. Tunaweka ni kaidia. Sawa. Waendelea lakini make sure you are careful. Eh. Sawa. Sawa. Shifting news. Hata si nimekujua wewe ni Evans na kuoranga sana. Kabisa. Pamoja. Sawa, tutaongea. So that is Martin Evra. Uh, he does amazing vlogs around the town. So I think I'll be just spinning his image within this video. He's within Uhuru Park doing the amazing coverage inside there. So guys, the reason why I didn't manage to go inside is uh, there are already rules that have been set in place in that uh, you can't freely film inside. There are payments you need to make for you to be allowed to film inside. So when I tried to talk with the guys who are at least directing people, uh, they say they don't know the fee for one to enter and film within. So I was told maybe I can call the concerned. I think there is a number. And uh, so it says filming is allowed upon payment of requisite fees and charges. That is one of the rules, especially for those who would wish to film within Uhuru Park. So there are other rules like all park visitors are subject to a security check at the gate. So when you come there, <laughs> don't come with rudeness, just operate with kindness. When you are directed that you are supposed to be frisked, allow the officers in charge to do their work. And they also say all children must be supervised by an adult at all times while in the park. I hope that one is understandable. And it says entry. You won't be allowed entry unless you have an ID document, a driver's license valid, or passport so those are the documents that are allowed for you to enter this amazing park so you can see the amazing Uhuru highway and the Uhuru park on this side and this is gate B you can see not yet opened So that is the reason why I'm filming from the outside, but we will be giving you some of the uh, videos we took while inside this park. You know, there is Freedom Corner, there is the Ampieta, there is that section with the, uh, what do we call it? The section with the aeroplane that is supposed to serve as a hotel. We have a man-made lake on the other side. And we have kid-friendly activities, you can go relax when you are heading towards the community where we have uh, the Ministry of Health, we have places where you can relax and do your activities. So that has been about Uhuru Park. So just to confirm that it is open to the public and entry is free, but you need a valid document, be it a passport, a driver's license, 
or your national identification card so those are the prerequisites that you need for you to enter the park so we will be just rolling to the town center this is the Kenyatta Avenue roundabout around the city so I believe if you are watching this video we shall have included the rules at the start of this video when you are coming to Uhuru Park so make sure you follow all the rules you can visit on a daily basis and uh, on weekdays it's open from 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. those are on weekdays and during weekends and public holidays open from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. so I hope that makes sense to all of you and you can visit this amazing 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 place you relax yeah so this is the Kenyatta Avenue you can see there is something they were constructing here I don't know what they were constructing but uh, I think there is a day they blocked this road to allow the constructions to take place and uh, on the other side that is the finance house the other one is Absa Towers and right now we are on Kenyatta Avenue just making rounds within this beautiful city and this is the Nyayo house this one here on the other side just next to Nyayo house is the what do you call it the GPO You can see the GPO poster. So let me cross and walk in the center of the road. You know, being a holiday, you have a leeway to enjoy traversing the city because there is not much traffic. So you get to enjoy most of free movement across the city. You are not limited. Unlike during week, normal weekdays, you find you will find that traffic is a lot, people, vehicles. So it becomes hard for your movement across the different sections within the town center and that is the I and M building so we were just reviewing Uhuru Park unfortunately uh, recording or taking videos is not allowed until you make payments unfortunately we don't know how much is required for the payments for, to be allowed to record within Uhuru Park but we appreciate all our supporters for the support you continue giving us and I believe when need be we'll be doing an, another exclusive tour of Uhuru Park to showcase how it is in use right now since it is open to the public and free entry so make sure you just carry your ID your driver's license or your passport those are the documents you need for you to enter Uhuru Park 
So that is the Iron Dam building within the town CBD. So it has been an amazing just a walk. It has been a walk. Yeah, our target today was to review Uhuru Park as it stands. But filming inside is not allowed. So you have to be careful when filming inside for you not to get into bad books with uh, the authorities. So what you are supposed to do, you make payments for you to be allowed to record within Uhuru Park. So that is the information we have right now. But what we can just confirm to you is that the park is open to the public. You can go there free of charge, enter, but what you need is your national ID or your driver's license or a passport. So that is all about Uhuru Park. And we continue appreciating for the support you are showing unto us for believing in this journey. And we will continue appreciating and we'll be here to interact with some of you whenever we meet on the streets in different cities abroad yeah we will be meeting one of these fine days and just do amazing content across the different places so you can see it's uh what do we call it it's a holiday and uh, we have a number of people within the city doing their own business so let me say thank you to all those who have watched this video up to this far and um, make sure you like it comment subscribe and hit the notification bell to receive all notifications once we upload a new video so this is the view of the town CBD this is uptown on the other side that is Times Towers CBK CBK Pension Towers Times Towers that is uh, KICC and this is Echo Bank Towers Londro House J Quad Towers and this is the I and M building so thank you and see you in our next video Shifting News